Hey, welcome back. We are playing Pyre. Last time we beat up some guys Whoa. in Flame Star Soccer, and now we're going to figure out where to go to play Flame Star Soccer. And okay, so there's stars. All right, so let's click this. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, okay, so now we know where to go, I guess. Hmm. 200 leagues due east, the ridge of gold. According to the stars, the next rite will commence here. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gol Gol Golothanian yet loom over those living in its shadow. Great, and where is it supposed to be there? When exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodariel turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. Uh, what you mean is, uh, glad to have you aboard, chum. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. Fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Well, let's fucking hang out with them. Yeehaw. We ride. And back over that way. And back over that way. And made the jump. Fucking sick airtime. Tony Hawk's Pro Wagoner is apparently what this is. Downside Prairie. Oh my god, the art. So good. Oh, goodness. Alright, what are we gonna do now? You arrive in Downside Prairie. One of the only verdant regions. Where the road ahead is forked. There is a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you, we ought to take the northern pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to, besides. Or so often, tempers come and scour away the huts and hovels. Alright, so it's like a shanty town. Fee on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. Hot Springs. Okay. And get stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way. We get us there. These rites are meant to test our faith. We'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Uh, yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. Okay, let's weigh the options. Um, so if we go to Hollow Root, it goes through an encampment and Ricky knows somebody there. If we go to Blooming Pool, it goes through a humid area with hot springs. She thinks she can find rare plants there. And over here is where we're trying to go. I'm inclined to think that old mustache pupper over here probably isn't the most trustworthy guy, so we're going to Blooming Pool. Doing it. Go get some, some herb. Did we get stuck? Oh. Jadariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool. Oh, she's a grim longtime resident of the downside. So we, we learn more when they when the title the the, the item glows. Okay, cool. Jadariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon, something catches her eye. Supernal. Observe, this shall pay for half our trip. You find a black bloom. Or thirty coin question mark. Bitter at first, it makes the pain go. Oh, so it's just an opiate, basically. Looks like we made the right call. I mean, I guess we don't really know, but we made at least a decent call, I guess, is what I'm saying. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gold. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. Oh. Well, there's a huge button. Page revealed the first exile. Alright, let's um let's go in the wagon and interact with people, I guess. Reader, Greentail here was just complaining how you opted not to take us up to Hollow Root. What? And violate our anti-second guessing pact? Now I was only saying how our chum's gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, just make sure making sure we got something to pawn off at the next slug market we find. And we have. 
Now let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. Two of them go about rummaging through the raiments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. Uh, headwind status, preparing the grounds. Just observe the ladder leading to the locked enclosure above the cabin. The wagon centrifuge must be up there. Its drive imps stare down at you with big wet eyes. Oh, hello. Hey, minstrel, you got anything to say? You observe the man slumped in the corner of the wagon, bearing some sort of stringed instrument. You sense he lives, but nothing more. It seems inopportune to ask about him now. Jeez. You observe the masks and robes, whose old engravings and embroidery suggest a formal purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while others are so small they might fit a child. Okay. Jody's throw rug. Greentail family portrait. Ah, the roster. In the common room, you may view various notes and observations about your fellow exiles and their respective paths towards enlightenment in the rites. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so they've just got... So there's like different moves that people could have here, they just don't have them yet. E to cast, W to jump, Q to sprint. Makes sense. Oh, Kerr is actually the name of the rest. The, the race. Okay, that's a little confusing, because they're known for loyalty, optimism, and appreciation for simple things. Huh, okay. He used to be a fucking trafficker, smuggler, basically. We don't know his crime motive or how long he was exiled for. Okay. Very interesting. Nightwing's cargo, Ruki's masteries. He has no masteries, so never mind. Joe Dariel. Wait, there we go. She's a demon, straight up. Survived in exile long enough to be transformed. Ooh, Jesus. She was a veteran, so she was a soldier, which makes sense, and we don't know anything about that other stuff. He's a nomad. He was an outrider. Okay. Very interesting. Ooh, revealed pages in the rights book. And the words of Gol Golanathian, Gola Golathanian, Golthananian, Gol GG. The Master General. You know, perhaps the thrice cursed name of Soliumur, the Emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his. Why am I reading it this way when I could do it this way? Each of us was sent to take his life, such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found in Solium Mur a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit. A man deserving of much more than mercy. In time he named us all his scribes and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Damn. So, I mean, I don't really have much more than him, unfortunately, right now, but... So it looks like by completing rites, we get more pages in here. Pretty cool. Let's do it. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The preparations are set. However, everything is still and calm. Soon they grow restless. I keep telling you there's nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. If we traveled all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. And we look up to see... Disco party! Nope, never mind. Just literally the exact symbol we were looking for. Whew. So this is going to be our first serious match, I guess. All right, man. I'm ready to dance. At the appointed time, and, and your triumph is, is ready. ready. All right. Your I'm down for it. Let's do it. This eve shall be the accusers. The accusers, huh? Whosoever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Let's do it. Now let the rights. So these guys are all human, which means that Big Lady's going to have kind of an advantage. 
The stars are aligned, and your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others, also clad in raiments. Clad, clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rights. Everyone ready? Oh well, let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. At last, the night wings, triumvirate in blue. At last, the night wings grace us with their presence. I see that the reports of your demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lindell again? I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now, I and the accuser shall repay that affront. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task at hand. Let's do it. Game time, motherfucker. All right, so we really want to have her plug up one of these approaches. Boom. And then we can let Ruki. It'd be our carrier. And we can go for it, baby! Oh, damn it. Alright, Ruki. Go for it, baby! Oh, they have certainly underestimated me. And my basic zone control tactics. Okay, this time I can't just rely on uh, what's in take though. But we can go for it. Go for it! Oh, the jump, dude, the slam dunk. You get 20 points for a slam dunk, too. Didn't realize that. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil in rage. Oh, he's going to use some sort of ability. Yeah, get flustered, I guess. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Well, then we'll just have to run more circles around them. <laughs> Old E to fling the orb into the pyre. Ah, okay, so they're going to try to just tank us out. Which we're not going to let happen. Haunt. Oh, awkward. Fuck you. Shit. Alright, that's a little awkward. Oh, fuck. Come on. Go. Get him. Should really probably be... Oh, never mind. This works. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I was supposed to fling it, but fuck you. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Got him. Only does 13 when you throw it. Using such tricks. Aha. So that's the effect of it. Ooh, got me. Fair and square. An opportunity. Okay, okay, so you can pass, that makes sense. I knew I, I knew you could pass, I'm just still kind of becoming cognizant of the strategy of the game. Oh, I caught it. Excuse me? Oh, 
away with them. Yeah, this really is just a fucking sports game. Okay, so you get less points when you do it that way, though. Nope. Nice, from downtown. All right, and now this time we just have to get the 15 in there. Oh, too much momentum. <laughs> That was my own bad. And... Uh, uh. Okay, we'll just do it this way. I don't think that'll get me 14. Nope. Okay, Ruki, go for ham! Yeah, fuck it. That works. Just run it in on foot. Yeah! Than in your single fleeting victory. Hey man, you're making a lot of assumptions about my victories and the number that I will have. Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when next we meet, you will rue the day. Bask now in, in the, the wisdom, wisdom of, the of the scribes. Okay, we're becoming enlightened. I wonder how that works. Mm. We have withstood worse nights than this, though few is strange. Oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna be able to free everybody. Awkward. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hit people with the orb and kill them, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really care about that. Big Aura is nice. What's saluting? I don't know what saluting is. Oh, it's taunting. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, the Big Aura is just too good to argue with. So she already had some enlightenment. That's weird. I wonder why she, why ever, did she gain more or I don't know. Whatever. Okay, hope, quickness, glory. Ah, different characters deal different damage. I didn't realize that. Cool. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. And we'll find out what is onward on the next episode of Pixpals. Bye.